Welcome back, Legends, to another episode of Review Breakdown for DC's London Tomorrow, Season 7, Episode 5, titled It's a Mad, 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 Mad Scientist. Because, of course, today we just got introduced to the mad scientist, Dr. Gwen Davies. So, of course, before getting into the episode, get, gotta give a quick spoiler warning. If you've not yet seen the episode, do be warned because we are talking spoilers. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this breakdown DC's London Tomorrow, Season 7, Episode 5. So when we start off the episode, the Legends have now officially arrived in New York because, of course, as we saw at the end of last week's episode, Gary was on his way to New York and he had the key to the to John's pocket dimension manor and the Legends were all inside the manor. So he arrives in New York, just opens the door, and boom, the Legends are now officially in New York as they have been trying to get to this whole time. So while they do that, Nate and Zari are currently in the manor, specifically Zari 1.0, because she came back at the end of last week's episode, and they're basically just trying to figure out what's going on with Robot Hoover, where did he come from, who sent him, all that stuff. Basically, they're not really able to figure out much, but they, they got that going on there. Uh, but like I said, we're introduced to Dr. Gwyn Davies. Uh, this was their whole big plan pretty much all season so far as the Legends were on their way to New York so they could find Dr. Gwyn Davies because he is supposedly the one that invented time travel and created the first time machine. So Sarah and Gary find him and I, I love how uh, they kept making these references of like, oh, he looks super familiar. He looks like uh, oh, like Mick with hair or or like a young Stein. Oh, no, that looks like Ray. And I thought that was just hilarious because, of course, Dr. Gwen Davies is played by Matt Ryan, who used to play John Constantine on the series. So, of course, they say, oh, he looks familiar, but then list off, like, every character but Constantine. So, I thought that was pretty funny there, and I did enjoy that uh, uh, throughout the episode. That was pretty cool. Uh, but they're basically succeeding in their mission, and they steal the plans for the time machine, the time machine blueprints. But the problem is, it would take, like, four to five years to actually build that time machine. But then we find out that Dr. Gwyn Davies actually already built it. But then some other problems arise there as well. So yeah, they've got to they've got to come up with a new plan, basically plan B. So even though Ava warns her not to, Sarah decides, all right, we're just going to cut some corners, just, you know, do whatever we can to make this happen. And basically, just like Ava warned, they mess up time. And Ava actually ends up disappearing from the timeline. So that is not good at all. Sarah teams up with Dr. Gwen Davies so that she can uh, try and reunite with Ava. And I love this part here where Zari reprograms Hoover to talk to Thomas Edison and retrieve the time travel plans. But then... To, uh, robot Hoover actually ends up blowing up and then that ends up killing Edison. I don't know if he has a heart attack or something, but the real Edison. So then of course, Robot Hoover comes in with now a Robot Edison. So now we've got even more robot historical figures on the loose here in the season. And again, we still don't know who sent them, where they're coming from, what their plan is, but basically they're, they just, they're just sent to hunt down the legends. But who is sending them? I still think it's maybe Bishop because he was set up in episode three and we haven't seen anything from him since then, but I still feel like it is probably Bishop, but you know, we'll, we'll see for now. So while all that's going on, basically by the end of it, Gwen, uh, Gwen Davies is able to help bring back Ava. But while that happens, uh, of course, we have our trio with Gideon, Spooner, and Astor because their whole thing is that they're trying to reach the Legends before they can create time travel because supposedly that time machine is going to blow up and basically kill all of them. So they're trying to get to them as quickly as possible. And they're just... They start off super lucky in this episode, but then get super unlucky because first, Astro uses a spell to make a rock a lucky rock, and Spooner's 100% believing in it, and then all of a sudden, this uh, guy that goes by the name Cannonball, he sh shows up, turns out he's a racer, and he just so happens to be racing to New York, so he's like, oh yeah, I can give you a ride, and like I said, that, that lucky rock is just giving him all this luck, but... By the end of it, they lose their ride, they lose their lucky rock, Gideon actually ends up getting kidnapped, and this is where Astra actually reveals that the spell she put on the rock to make it the lucky rock what wasn't even a spell. She 100% faked that, so Spooner's kind of upset by that, but they don't have much time to try and save the legends, so they don't really know what to do. So as the Legends and Dr. Gwen Davies are hopping in the time machine, getting ready to time travel to 2021, which honestly I think is kind of weird. Like, what? why did they not think to wait for our trio here? And they're, like, they're just going to leave them in the 20s? I, I think that was kind of weird. Uh, but anyway, they were getting ready to time travel. But while as that's happening, Gideon wakes up and she like, you know, takes over the, the guy that kidnapped her and uh, is basically trying to make her way to uh, Dr. Gwen Davies' 
laboratory while Astra actually casts some sort of like lightning spell to hopefully cause a blackout and luckily she is successful for that so uh the trio does arrive they save the day they don't get to time travel at least not on that part um and but then they do actually use the chip from the back of robot hoover's head to be able to create the time travel thing and basically make the time machine work but the problem is it works, but it doesn't take them to 2021 like they wanted it to. So they have no idea where this time machine has now traveled them to within time. In the promo we see for next week's episode, they mentioned something about Chernobyl. I, I honestly don't know what that is. Um, so you'll have to fill me in in the comments. But yeah, so they don't know where they are. It clearly did not work. They've got a uh, fix a few things with the time machine, but at least we're getting out of the 1920s because, you know, five episodes in, I, I was getting, getting a little bored with the 1920s, so I'm glad that we're kind of moving past that, but I'm excited to see where things go from here because, I mean, that promo did look really action-packed, so I'm excited to see what happens from here, but for now, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think about tonight's episode of DC's London Tomorrow, Season 7, Episode 5, and of course, as always, thanks so much for watching. Please drop a like if you enjoyed this video and hit the subscribe button so I can keep it to date on everything goes on in the DC life.